Hi, everybody. Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fragrant Bunker. I have news for you. Yes, I know. We have done the Chanel Cristal videos over and over and over again. But hey, it's exciting. It's been since the 90s that Chanel has released Cristal. Well, they released the Eau de Parfum in the 90s under Jacques Polge. But it's been since the 70s and Henri Robert that Cristal has been launched. So... We, we were scared that they were discontinuing it, and they were discontinuing it. Now it turns out certain formulations were being discontinued. The bottles have been discontinued. So all of these classics are now gone in this particular bottle. This bottle is history, baby. Now we have the new bottles. Now I've done the updates as the information was trickling out and in, so you can go check out those videos on my channel about the new Eau de Parfum Cristal and about the new Auvert concentration, because it's no longer an eau de toilette concentré, it is now an eau de parfum as well. But what was missing in our rundown? This little baby was missing. Well, now we got the news on the final missing link, which is coincidentally also the most important link for Cristal, because the eau de toilette was the original first launch in the early 70s by Henri Robert for Chanel, the eau de toilette of Cristal. And here goes. First, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Patreon, Super Jacob, all spelled together there as well for extra perks. I live stream several times a week on my main Super Jacob channel. Go follow me there and uh, join the live chats. By the way, this video is being filmed live as well. So hi to my co-chatters. Let's pray this baby on as we are... Oh, child, let me... You know what? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm in heaven. Now, we are going to talk about the brand new Eau de Toilette of Cristal. And we're going to, let me uh, shift to the side and let me show you a couple of pictures. All right. So now, interesting things have happened. First of all, let me cue in the first picture. This is the brand new bottle. So you can see it's very different to this one. So this is kind of like the Chanel number no. 5 Eau de Toilette bottle, although some people are saying it's not a magnet, it's a click. Lid, black plastic, and then silver metal on top, printed crystal label right here, only available as 100 mil. Of course, Chanel upped the price when they released this new bottle. Uh, we're going to get to the price and everything. Uh, so this is a brand new bottle. Looks just like the new Eau Verte, Eau de Parfum, except the Eau Verte has a white lid instead of the black lid. Let me show you how this bottle looks when it's laying down. So you get to see the top of this lid as well. There you go. Just like the Chanel number no. 5 Eau de Toilette bottle. This one has, instead of gold, it has silver with white. This little ridge right there would tell us and indicate, that, indicate to us that this lid might not be magnetic as the Chanel number no. 5 eau de, eau de Toilette is, but it might be a click closure. I haven't seen this one live yet, but I will be reviewing it the second I get the bottle. But for now, I'm just sharing the intel about this perfume. And yes, some of you have been telling me, Jacob, Jacob, oh my gosh, you said it was discontinued in Australia, now it's available again. This was discontinued in Australia since over a year, now actually two, at least two years. And sales associates were telling you as well it's discontinued in Australia. The Eau de Parfum was discontinued in the United States since over a year. Now that Chanel has rebottled all of their Cristal perfumes, all three, they're doing a global relaunch of all three. So if in your country you did not have this bottle anymore since two years or three years because it was discontinued, you will be getting this one because Chanel is planning a global launch. Actually, they've launched it on the 1st of November officially, the Eau de Toilette. The Eau Verte and Eau de Parfum were launched a little bit earlier, but the Eau de Toilette officially was launched on the 1st of November of 2023. And it has received a global launch. However, and yes, now it is available also online in most countries. On the Chanel website, you can purchase this. Let me show you the price tag that Chanel wants for this little baby in America. The Eau de Toilette 100 mil, 
$140 plus tax. In Europe, it's 136 euro. So it's almost one to one. Very interesting how the price is really rare that they've harmonized their prices so well. Because when it comes to their Les Exclusives perfumes, the prices are not harmonized. A 75 mil Les Exclusives perfume costs you $300 plus tax in America. It costs you 215 to 1.5 euro in Europe. That's like a hundred dollars difference, while this one has more or less the same price between Europe and America. So bear that in mind, Chanel has different pricing strategies for different products. But also to bear in mind that the last bottle of the Eau de Toilette that I purchased in the old school version, as per Chanel's own price, was 115 euro, 115. Now they've upped the price to 136 euro. Just for a bottle change, and this bottle already existed because they've already done it for Chanel number no. five years ago. So Chanel never misses a beat and they never miss an opportunity to up a price. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and I'm telling you right now, they have had a global relaunch and I'm super happy that worldwide now we can get Cristal all over again. They are testing us. They want to see how this will sell. If you don't buy it, they will discontinue it again in your country. Be sure of that. So, I am cautiously happy and excited for a global relaunch of the Eau de Toilette. But if it doesn't sell like they hope it will, then they will again limit distribution. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything is just my opinion. Everything's alleged. But the way I have seen Chanel work in the past, it's like, okay, you know, the toilet has been discontinued in Australia for many years because it wasn't selling. Now they've relaunched it because a friend of mine from Australia actually got the bottle at a Chanel event just a couple of days ago. So we'll go, we'll go. Um, if it doesn't sell, it'll be gone again. Now, in France, they will keep producing it. In Europe, probably they will keep selling it and distributing it. But other countries, let's wait and see. If you love your EDT, buy it now from Chanel. It's available online. Look, this is the US website, add to bag. It's available. I'm not sponsored, by the way, by Chanel, just FYI. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish, but I'm not. Uh, all my Chanel perfumes are purchased by moi. So just to be very clear and transparent here. Um, and be very cautious if a video is sponsored. That person making that video, eh, don't trust everything they say, they tell you if the video is sponsored. Just my opinion. Anyway, back to this. Um, if you love it, buy it now. If, especially if, if you are in a country where this little baby was like gone for many years, like Australia, buy it now. Same for America, where the Eau de Parfum was gone for over a year or two, and now it's available again in the new bottle, and you love the EDP, Buy it now. Don't wait. Don't sit and simmer on this. Two reasons. One, because it might get discontinued again. Second reason, give this baby two years. Mark my words. Give this baby two years from now. And that price tag will be close to $200. You've been warned, heed my words. Thumb up this video. My friend from Australia, hi Vel, shout out to Vel, thank you so much, sweetie, sent me a photo of her newly purchased Cristal in this bottle because the Chanel website, interestingly enough, as of now, they might update their website, but as of now, they do not share the ingredients of the Eau de Toilette. Vel was kind enough to photograph 
the back of her bottle where all the ingredients are listed of her packaging. And so I have photographed my old school, uh, Christa, this is the old bottle. I have photographed my own package and I've photoshopped it together with the photo of her new back side of the package. And now we're going to compare the ingredients. Has anything changed? Has Chanel reformulated it? Now, until I don't have a bottle in hand to sniff and make a review for you guys, I can only go off of what I see here. So that's what we're going to do now. The next picture, I've been working on this. <laughs> Let me show you. So as you can see, this is, I wrote here, old package. This is uh, the photo of my own. Sorry, let me just cover my face so you can see. So this is the photo that I took of this uh, box. Uh, and then this is the photo that my friend Vel sent me from Australia. Now you can see the big difference here. Uh, on my bottle, we still have the old Chanel address in uh, 92200 Nulis sur Seine. And then here on the new packaging, we have the London address. Okay, so this is kind of also a good indicator for you guys, you know, in general. I know here the package changed because the bottles changed. So it's easy to see that this is different because the new Cristal Eau de Toilette box is much slimmer than the old one. But also for their perfumes where the boxes have not changed, this adding of the London address indicates a brand new Chanel, you know. Post-Brexit, Chanel, basically. All right. Now we're comparing the ingredients between the old package and the new package. And I've already compared them. I can make this crazy comparison for you easier. And I can tell you it's the same. <laughs> the ingredients are the same. The order in which the ingredients are positioned is the same. The order is important because the ingredients that are closer to the top means that there's more of them in the juice. And the ingredients that are lower on the list, there's the least amount of those ingredients in the product. So uh, this uh, iso eugenol, however you pronounce it, smallest quantity alcohol is the, the biggest shit in this bottle is alcohol. Second position is water, and then the fragrance, and then it goes on and on and on. Now, you might ask yourself, but hold on, Jacob, why, did, why, why is this kind of set differently? Like, we, we spell out fragrance fully in one row, and here it's cut off, fragrance C in the bottom row. Uh, simple explanation for this, because this new package, like I told you at the beginning, is much tighter than the old one because the bottle is thinner. So the entire box is thinner than the old box. So that's why everything is a little bit shifted. But that doesn't matter. The ingredients are the same. Ingredients listed are the same. The order in which they are listed is the same. And thank you, Perfume Jesus. The oak moss extract is still there in the new one. And the tree moss extract is also still there in the new one. And we got this little cold, uh, code IL-28I as well as here. Same, same, same. Nothing changed. So I'm very happy to report that as per what is printed on the packaging, it would appear that Cristal Eau de Toilette has indeed not been reformulated from what the formula was in the years prior to 2023. Having said that, these two ingredient lists are not the ingredient list from the 70s. Okay? Cristallo de Toilette was much more intense, deep, greener, had a lot more oak moss in it in the 70s. New IFRA regulations and other regulations have led 
to considerable formulations and reformulations of Cristal Eau de Toilette. So what we see today in both these instances is a reformulated version if compared to the 70s original Eau de Toilette. Just to be very clear, just to be very clear. Having said that, the last iteration of Cristal before they changed the bottle that I own is beautiful. Yes, it's lighter if you compare it to the 70s version, also to the 80s version and 90s version. Sure, it is more watered down than what it used to be. But nevertheless, it is light years better than any other perfume out there. It is still gorgeous. Chanel did a wonderful job at preserving the idea of the DNA of this perfume uh, intact, even in its current iteration. Go check out my review of Chanel Cristal de Toilette and its heritage, what it meant to Coco, how it represents Coco Chanel in her last years, the whole ashtray note uh, in this perfume and what it means. Go check out that review. Uh, so I am thrilled that that DNA is still apparently preserved as per the ingredient list in the new bottled version of Cristal de Toilette. Super excited. So the next and final step on this journey, on this Cristal Chanel journey for me, uh, will be to review every new bottle as I purchase them, right? So that will be kind of uh, heading towards the concluding chapters of our journey together with Cristal. Now, I know no other perfume channel out there really dedicated so many videos to this journey, but I just love this perfume so much and I think nobody really cared for this perfume for the longest time and I think it really deserved the attention and the love. Um, so I do hope that you guys understand also why I did all these videos because as the news was trickling in, as the discontinuations and the scarcity of the product of stock started happening, I, I got really worried. And I just wanted to warn everybody and tell everybody, hey guys, if you love this perfume, get it because it seems like things are being discontinued. In fact, turns out, yeah, it was being discontinued. The bottle, as well as Cristal Eau Verte, Eau de Toilette Concentré, because it is no longer that formula. The Eau de Toilette Concentré is now reconcentrated as an Eau de Parfum. So if you loved your Eau Verte from the early 2000s, that one is gone. Fingers crossed, I still like the new version, but that one is gone. We have compared the ingredient list of Eau Verte, Eau de Toilette Concentré, and Eau Verte, Eau de Parfum, and they are different. The lists are different. They differ. They differ. So uh, Eau Verte is a new concentration. So it is also a new formula, just to be very clear. The Eau de Parfum never really listed Oak Moss to begin with, and it still does not list it. But the Oak Moss is here, as well as the Tree Moss, in this gorgeous masterpiece of a perfume. So you guys, that concludes this video. Stay tuned for uh, the review of uh, the new batch of Cristal Eau de Toilette in the new bottle. As soon as I receive it, I will be reviewing and comparing. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video in the comment section down below. Share your thoughts. Thumb up the video if you liked it and subscribe. Until next time, never forget to never give up on fragrant love. Love you loads. Bye. Mwah.